Hello, I'm Neil Shackleton, the Technical Support and Training Manager from Power Electrics. On today's video, we're going to be looking at the Power Wizard controller and showing you how to reset faults to give your end user or site operatives a good heads up before your machine gets into operation. The three keys in the top square are Alarm Acknowledge, Alarm Reset and Event Log List. If we develop a fault on the machine, for example an emergency stop, the triangle with the two arcs for hard shutdown will begin to flash. To acknowledge, you press the bell button to get a solid light. We now need to know what that fault actually is. So if you press the shortcut to the alarm list, it will show us in the screen that this Genset controller has got six particular problems. So we press OK to highlight what each individual problem is. The first one of 17 is that the generator controller is not in the auto position. That's because it's currently sat into the stop mode. It's one of 17 faults and it's occurred 16 times. We want to try to identify the faults which are present so we can clear them. So we can scroll down the list and we can find one. Here, the emergency stop shutdown is present. That means the fault condition still exists on the control panel. So to clear the fault, we have to rectify the situation. We've now gone from present to active and now we need to be able to clear that fault. So if I push OK, it allows me to reset, push OK again, and that fault has now disappeared. We could go on to clear the next fault, or if all faults are clear, successfully restart the machine. Thank you for watching today's video. If you need any further information, please contact Paralytrics.